says cheesy has to be bad? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cheesiest one-hit wonders of the 1980s. For this list, we've chosen acts that were strongly identified with one extremely cheesy and successful song during the 1980s. We're not limiting things to acts that literally only had one hit single throughout their entire careers, but we're picking acts that are most known today for a chosen song. Also, no singing actors. Number 10. Baltimore, Tarzan Boy If you've ever been to an 80s retro night or tried Cool Mint Listerine, you've heard this song. Cool Mint Listerine works like Listerine, tastes like Cool Mint. With its message about living free and Tarzan's familiar refrain as its chorus, it's catchier than a cold. That's why it was a smash for the Italian-Irish band. However, Baltimore couldn't manage another hit, and so they disbanded. Too bad, too. There are so many fictional characters to sing about. Number 9. Taco, Putting on the Ritz If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Putting on the Ritz We were all ready to mock the band name Taco. Then we found out it's actually one dude, and that's his name. Putting on the Ritz is a Fred Astaire cover, and Taco put his stamp on it. If by stamp you mean utterly 80s synth pop vibe. Is it us, or is this song creepy? Regardless, it was a hit, and Taco followed it up with another less successful cover. I'm singing in the rain. Number 8. Thomas Dolby, She Blinded Me With Science. It's about a mad scientist who falls in love with his lab assistant. Plus, it's got a stuffy British guy, tons of catchy hooks, and lots of synthesizer. Well, it was the 80s. Dolby's fellow Brits might recognize a few of his other songs, but across the pond, this was his only track to crack the top 40. You can't argue that this song's cheesy. Why? Because science. science. Number 7. Cutting Crew, I Just Died In Your Arms. Only an 80s synth pop power ballad has this much passion. Speaking of passion, apparently the French use the phrase a little death as a metaphor for <clears throat> climaxing, and that's what this song's about. Go figure. But oddly, this number one didn't cause nearly as much controversy as other tunes on our list. However, unfortunately for Cutting Crew, after this song they suffered a little death of their own. And not in the good way. Number 6. Devo, Whip It. Whip it good. song with a whip crack sound is, by definition, cheesy. Even so, Devo's new wave smash caused a stir due to its ambiguous lyrics. While the band claims it's about overcoming adversity, some people think it's about, well, whipping it. Whip it. Or S&M. Whip or sucking on a whipped cream can. Whip it. Now whip it. Either way, with their one smash, Devo proved songs don't need to make sense to crack charts. Correct and whip. Give the pass a slip. Number 5. The Weather Girls, It's Raining Men. It's raining men. Hey, man. Finally, a song where women objectify men. Too bad it was written by two dudes, one of whom was Paul Schaefer. That is absolutely true. Anyway, settling any questions about the Weather Girls rep as a novelty act, the weather-related puns and sound effects are brought to life in a gloriously low-budget video. Cheesy or not, these ladies churned out a number one that became an anthem in strip clubs, gay bars, and everywhere in between. Number 4. Lips Inc. 
Funky Town. This disco holdover is considered one of the genre's last hits, and we can't think of a song with a more blatant 70s slash 80s vibe. Written about New York, Funky Town spent four weeks at the top of the Billboard Hot 100 in the spring of 1980. Six years later, it hit charts again when remade by Pseudo Echo to sound even more 80s. Question, are Funky Town and Electric Avenue near each other? Oh, we gonna rock down to Electric Avenue. Number three, Frankie goes to Hollywood, relax. Relax, don't do it. Nothing sells records faster than Scandal. When Frankie strutted onto the scene, the BBC was happy to oblige by banning the song, almost for the duration of its chart stay, because of homoerotic and sadomasochistic imagery in the video and blatantly sexual lyrics in the song. However, all that did was sell tons of Frankie Says Relax t-shirts and secure the band's place as a one-hit wonder. A little song I wrote. Number two, Bobby McFerrin, Don't Worry, Be Happy. Don't worry, be happy. If you remember the late 80s, you know this song prompted a catchphrase, became an inescapable phenomenon, and won tons of Grammys. That's because people were blown away by its upbeat message and the fact that the song uses no instruments. That's right, that's only McFerrin's voice and whistling on the track. In fact, this was the first a cappella song to hit number one, so McFerrin's optimistic philosophy must work. Don't worry. It will soon pass, whatever it is. Number one, Tony Basil, Mickey. Instead of being sung by a pep squad, this novelty smash was brought to us by Tony Basil, who seemingly came out of nowhere to play the cheerleading motif for all it's worth. But Basil was already a dancer slash choreographer slash actor, with an impressive resume that included a part in Easy Rider. What's the matter, don't you like me? So don't feel too bad. She also created one of the most earwormy songs ever and became the quintessential one-hit wonder. Do you agree with our list? What song is your favorite one-hit wonder of the 1980s? Be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com for more entertaining top tens. Japanese, I think of Japanese, I really